Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't talk about when they come here and they retire in the Philippines. They don't really think about this much. And it's cog cognitive decline, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, and many of the other types of dementia that happen and take place as we age. You know, old age definitely wears us down as we, you know, as, as we age. It takes, takes away our, our, our um, mind little by little sometimes. And sometimes some of us get through that pretty well and we end up dying from something else. And we're the lucky ones who get spared. You know, when I was, when I was younger, it was about 10 years ago or more, my father passed away from Parkinson's and he did have a bout with um, Parkinson's dementia. Was, we were lucky because we caught it just in time and they thought it was going to be permanent and we were able to save him giving him CoQ10 and ubiquinol which were one and the same kind of and he had a complete turnaround and was good right up until the day he died as far as his mind was which we were really really lucky as far as that goes but I want to I want to talk about this a little bit because cognitive decline hurts your critical thinking and if there's one thing we all need in the Philippines, it's critical thinking. You know, a lot of people that come over here, they say, when I talk to these older guys that are in their 70s, late 60s, you know, they say, well, Steve, I'm going to come over on such and such an amount. And it's, it's, a, it's a really low amount. And you need a higher amount when you're coming over here in, in you know, in your early 70s, late, eight, late 70s, or if, even if you're coming in here in your 80s, I wouldn't recommend that at all for anybody. But I mean, in your late 60s, <laughs> your insurance goes up. And you're gonna need that extra money. And I, I, I can tell from talking to these guys that they don't think about the Medicaid and Medicare that you have back in the States that you have to fall back on. And over here, you lose all that. You lose all that. And you know, as, as we decline, as we age, our critical thinking is needed most of all as an expat. Whereas back home, you know, if you go into a nursing home or you go into um, some soldier's home or what have you, you, know, you pretty much got people around you looking out for you that can still critically think and kind of help think for you because they know that your, 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 your cognitive decline and your critical thinking is pretty much gone because of your age. And you need to think about that now before you come here. You know, does that run in your family? Does that take place? You, need, you guys need to really be thinking this stuff out. You know, there's a lot to think about when you come over here as an expat. A lot of people just think about the women. They think about the cheap living. And you need to think about the other things behind the scenes that we, we often forget about. When I come over here, um, I had heard about this guy and he was down in Cebu. And some of you guys might remember this because it was in the news. And somebody dumped him off at a hospital down, I believe it was in Cebu if, I, if, if I'm not wrong, it was a while back. And they dumped him off there and he, he had no memory hardly at all. I guess a couple of expats went to visit him. They actually got the guy talking and he started um, he, telling them a little bit of information so that they could get in touch with somebody back in the States. So they ended up getting the guy shipped back. I think some people made donations or what have you. And he ended up getting back to the States. I don't know what happened to him after that, if he passed away or whatever, but that could happen to you. Because a lot of people, what they do is they go in to, um, they get into a relationship with some girl that's just in it for the money or whatever and that's it and the guy starts getting sick and then they don't want to deal with it so they just dump him at the hospital and say i'm done with this i'm not going to deal with this and that guy there i don't know his situation i don't know if they took all his money i don't know if they took his wallet or whatever i don't know all that stuff i don't I, that i don't know but i can only imagine it wasn't a good situation i wouldn't want to be dumped off at a hospital because all your belongings and stuff you can't thank for yourself you can't you, you have no you know, you can't do any critical thinking. Um, you, 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 you can't, your, your cognitive abilities are, are really low. You can't think of how to get home and, and people here are not gonna do that for you in some cases. And this guy was lucky enough that there was some expats that were there to take care of him. And that's the good thing about being in a group like ours is that we have enough people around here that will do the best we can. That's all we can, that's all we can say here is we'll, we'll do the best we can for you. We'll take care of you. We'll look out for you. Um, just make sure you have enough money for yourself and we'll, we'll do all the things that we need to do if you leave us the information and we'll take care of that. That's what we do here in our group. Now, I'm not saying just come, come here and join our group for that. There's plenty of other people out there that you, you know, will take care of you too. And there's even Filipino families that will take care of you. And, and I don't want to you know, under, underestimate 
the power of a Filipino family because there's many, many good Filipino families here and, and expats know that. But there's also those, those the girls out there that are just interested in the money. And, and those are few and far between, but it does happen. Some people just get sick and tired of the whole situation and just get up and walk away because they're like, when, when you have dementia, sometimes you can get pretty ornery. That's one of the side effects of having dementia is you can, you can fight back, you get mean. Um, it's just part of, of dementia. It happens sometimes. It happens with Alzheimer's. It, hap it can happen also with Parkinson's and stuff too. Um, and you don't, you don't want, you don't, people don't want to deal with that. And you don't want to put that upon somebody else. So if, and usually when you start getting Alzheimer's or Parkinson's dementia, you don't even know that you have it. That's the worst part about it. So you can't go someplace and say, well, I'm going to go home now because I'm starting to get dementia. You know, or I'm starting to get Alzheimer's or something like that. Because usually you don't know. And usually when you're dealing with that, the people around you start to see you forgetting. And they start to do things with that. And they start to, um, you know, they don't know what's going on with you. They don't know if you're getting mean or old or, you know. Because some people, as they age, they get kind of ornery. And, and part of that is dementia. It is dementia. It is part of, of, of your mind failing. And, um, you know, you don't want to leave it on anybody. And sometimes when you're in your late 60s, if you're having any issues where you're forgetting things and things like that, the Philippines might not be the place for you. Because some of the people that I see calling me, as soon as I start talking to them, and they're in their 60s or 70s, I'd say maybe 5% of them are starting to see some sort of decline. And I can, I can pick it up right away that they're not, they don't have the ability to really take care of themselves and they're looking for somebody else to take care of them. And they start talking about Filipinas. Will a Filipina take care of me? They start asking me, you know, if I'm making 700 a month or 800 a month or 900 a month or 1200 a month, you know, can I get a girl there that will take care of me and love me and, and, you know, take care of me physically and all this stuff, you know, if I'm sick or whatever. And I'm like, buddy, if you're coming over here for that, I would say, no, don't come over here just for somebody to, to babysit you and take care of you. You're better off checking into a nursing home or what have you. And, you know, it's something that we all have to think about when we come over here. Make sure you have enough health care and enough money on the side. You can check into places over here uh, for as little as seven or eight hundred dollars a month, and they'll feed you and house you. Okay, for seven or eight hundred dollars a month. Now that's probably going up a little bit. I'm sure inflation's catching up with that, but that's cheap. It's cheaper than a nursing home back home. I mean, there's nursing home homes back home that are really expensive. Seven hundred dollars for a whole month stay over here. That's pretty decent. Now, obviously, for a doctor to come in and check up on you, it's going to cost you a little bit more. And there are these places around here. I'm, eventually, I'm going to do a um, story, a vlog on one of these, one of these homes, and show it, so you get to see what it looks like inside, which is going to be kind of cool. And I, I want you guys to know that there are alternatives. There's always an alternative in the Philippines, okay? And would I say come over here and just check into a place like that? Well, I think in the United States with Medicare and Medicaid, you're way better off. And you'd have a better experience back there than over here. Now, what's it going to get you over here? You're going to be eating Filipino food, obviously. You're not going to be eating um, American Western foods. You're not going to be eating all that stuff, which is kind of bad for you. But the Filipino food, for some people, it's not their favorite. And in my case, that's the truth, too. You know, but I, I just want people to think about this. When you're, when you're weighing out all your options and everything, be sure to think about your future. Because all of us are going to decline here, whether it be Alzheimer's or whether it's going to be heart, heart issues or cancer or what have you. Make sure that you're going to have the ability to have that taken care of over here with your emergency fund and your insurance. And make sure your insurance will cover that, you know, and make sure it's just not a, they'll, they'll just cover it for $30,000 or what have you. Make sure they'll cover it fully, fully, that they will cover your cancer or whatever you have, you know just be sure about that guys check on it with the insurance companies that you guys are getting insured with and remember guys if you have some genetic defects in your family Alzheimer's Parkinson's things like that think about it before you come here think about it long and hard because if it starts rearing its ugly head over here and you don't have time to get home because it, it, you know something happens all of a sudden or what have you a, you know you need a heart operation or something like that you need to have a good doctor ready and willing to take care of you over here. And you don't need to be out in the provinces. You need to be near Manila for that or near Cebu or near Davao where there's a decent hospital where they can take care of that for you. 
Think before you move, guys. God bless, guys. I hope that helped you guys. I wanted to talk about that today because, you know, I was reading an article the other day, and, it, and, and I also was watching that movie Awakenings. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that with Robin Williams and um, Robert De Niro. It's a really, really good movie. And every time I see that movie, I've watched it a few times because I really enjoyed it. And it kind of reminds me of my father from the Parkinson's dementia and the ubiquinol and the CoQ10 that he started taking and how he pulled out of dementia almost like within three days. He was back to normal. And, and in the movie, they use dopamine for, for those patients. But nowadays, they're saying that ubiquinol helps with um, Parkinson's dementia in a very, very big way. But also, guys, you can also use, um, if you want to stop cognitive decline, also take ginger and cinnamon. But be careful with cinnamon because it's not good for your liver and your kidneys, guys. So just take small portions of it. And usually you take it with something that you eat or something so it, it, can, it, can, it can take care of it easier. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. And I hope you enjoyed today's show. And, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. And, and please try to watch the ads if you can. It does help the channel a lot when you, when you watch or you at least run the ads. At least try to run the ads for me if you can. I really appreciate that, guys. God bless. Take care.